right students we are back with another video for commercial banks function remember we have studied its first primary function in the previous one wherein they take the money through various deposits and therefore have to pay the savers interest on such deposits saving deposit current deposit both demand and the last one being fixed deposit referred generally as a term deposit clear now the other function which makes a bank as a commercial bank right or an entity which can be labeled as a bank in strict sense of words is taking money from one side and rewarding interest and on the other side they have to also allow that money to give it to the people or the public or the or the entities which require the money be it households or firms for various purposes naturally they will charge interest against the same money which they will give now that what makes an entity a commercial bank am i clear taking the money and giving it to the public in the form of various facilities now what are these various facilities in granting funds or granting loans number 1 is cash credit number 2 is demand loans and number 3 is short term loans clear first up being cash credit students every firm right which maintains current account right likes to take this facility wherein they set a limit with their bank let's say for example the limit is 1 lakh rupees now what that limit allows a particular firm is that if 1 lakh rupees is the limit and their money in the current account is exhausted finished they can use that limit 1 lakh rupees to whatever extent they want depending upon how much stock they have right as a security they can use any amount below that 1 lakh rupees up to that 1 lakh rupees supposedly they require 60000 right their current account deposits are already extinguished or finished and they want the help from the bank side bank has set the limit for 1 lakh and they want 60000 for payment of raw material to their creditors so what they will do they will take 60000 rupees which is within the limit use that money and definitely will have to pay an interest to the bank for providing such facility right remember such interest is charged by the bank uh, but remember this interest is comparatively lesser than the interest on overdraft which is another facility to discuss on some other day this is very popular facility every firm try to make use of it also called as cc facility cash credit under which a limit is sanctioned now on what amount the interest is charged the interest is charged on the amount on which uh, the which um, the the firm has used it right i am talking about 60000 not on the entire amount sanctioned clear so they will charge interest on 60000 rupees that's what is cash credit now we'll look into the second one demand loans those firms or individuals who require money for very short arrangement let's say for example a security broker right a share broker who is involved in the work of purchasing and selling the security as a middleman he requires the money maybe for few days or few months so what he will do he will go to the bank ask for that facility which is called as demand loans right now in demand loans what happens students is the money is given to the household or the firm against the demand primarily with the firms against demand that means any time the bank wants its money back they can ask for it and therefore generally stipulated time period is not associated too much with such facility it is payable on demand so whenever the firm which has sanction which has been sanctioned let's say for example 1 lakh rupees right even though they might withdraw only 40000 if they withdraw 40000 any time their bank would require that money back they will ask for it and 40000 rupees ought to be paid back to the bank at that short notice am i clear 
question comes of interest on which amount the interest should be charged right now interest in this case in demand loan is charged on the amount which has been sanctioned and has been credited to that loan account right even though the amount presently being withdrawn is 40 but since 1 lakh has been sanctioned therefore interest will be charged on 1 lakh rupees clear one very important feature with this one is demand loan offer open ended repayment right that means any time if we who have taken the loan want to want to give it back right so without wasting too much of a time before even the bank calling it we can make the payment as such back to the the bank as such and whatever the interest rate payable we will pay it alongside so demand loans have open ended repayment can be called either from the bank or we can make the payment back according to our convenience i hope all of you are understanding it interest remember it on 1 lakh not 40000 come to the last one short term loans now these are the loans which are generally given for a stipulated period of time right suppose let's say for example two years one year one and a half year not long period of time right so if it is for a short period of time the in the amount of installments can be paid the amount can be paid in installments naturally along with the interest i hope all of you are understanding it whatever amount is sanctioned let's say for example 2 lakh rupees is sanctioned interest will be paid generally in accordance with the sanctioned amount which is credited to your short term loan account try to understand it again interest will be paid on 2 lakh rupees to start with as the sanctioned amount right however the question comes if that is the case whether open ended repayment is possible in case of short term loans answer is it is not so if you decide to make the payment back of the loan which you have taken suppose you have taken off sanctioned amount you have only withdrawn 80000 rupees and you want to close the loan account before the time period right remember it you have to pay penalty for breaking the contract as the loan time period is yet to expire so open ended repayment unlike demand loans is not what you find with short term loans if you want to make the loan period shorten a reasonable amount of penalty will be charged short term loans very regularly used not only by the households but also the firms for making its needs met through banking scenario i hope all of you understanding it so three types of facilities provided under the advancement of loans or granting of loans by the commercial banks a cash credit the most popular of the lot demand loans can be called upon any time and short term loans for stipulated period of time installment based amount is paid right and open ended repayment is generally not there in short term loans thank you